Hello everyone, how is it going today? My name is Malachi Plays and today we will be covering the PS4 press conference and review. So there's a bunch of things and a bunch of games that popped up on call and one of them was called The Order 1886 which looked like a pretty good game and it looked like old school game. Um, I'm not sure what genre it is, they did not say anything about it. There's also Infamous Second Son, Mad Max which looked like a crazy game. Um, and Mirror's Edge 2 was announced, so a lot of people were excited about that. Then, NBA 2K14 released LeBron James and his dunking, and his dunking abilities, and his shooting abilities. And then, what, after they showed the NBA 2K14, they um, had the Gran Turismo. And Gran Turismo looks pretty awesome, I'm, I'm not going to lie, there's, there's some pretty cool effects of it and what it looks like. So overall the press conference was a good review and a good um, overall experience and a lot of the reasons why I enjoyed this press conference and enjoyed it is because they didn't do what the Xbox did. And as you saw in my last video showing that the big major pun, well first and foremost is that disc based games, they will be trading. You can sell it to another person, lend it to a friend, or keep it forever. It doesn't matter. There's no sharing. You're, there's no fee that you're going to have to pay like the Xbox One is going to have. So with all that being said, now you wonder what console is the better console. Well, at this point, we can't really say what is the better console. But at this point, we can say this, that PS4 hit it strong and had a great uh, conference. They showed the console. The console looked really pretty nice. It's only $399, which I'm sure everybody knows about. And that is the biggest thing that makes the PS4 different from the Xbox One, which is at $500. Now, there is also confirmed specs saying that if X... Well, they're not confirmed, but they're rumors. But if Xbox One is going to have half of what PS4 does on their console... So if that does happen, you can totally see everybody is going to be buying the PS4. So at this time, I've never been a PS4 player. Well, a PS3, I have had the PS1, PS2, PS3. So I guess you could say I have the background of PlayStation. But when it came to the PS3, I wasn't excited. Mainly because I don't like the controllers. The reason why I'm in on it. Xbox is because of the controller. So the one tip that I kind of would love Sony to do is make a medium-sized controller, a large controller, and a small controller, as it would be great for the game because mainly a lot of people have bigger hands than you think, and I think just the Xbox 360 controller wraps around your hands really nice. So I think that would be great for PS4 if they could end up doing that. This game or this console would be the best console out there, and I personally am pretty excited um, at this point I would pick the PS4 if the consoles released tomorrow but at the same time I still want to see more from both consoles and I think we will over the E3 event and also probably over other events this year and I just want to know your guys opinions do you guys are you for PS4 are you sold on that or are you sold for the Xbox one and also some games that are pretty exciting are like the graphics, the inte integration. There's also the Elder Scrolls Online is better as another exclusive to PS4. And so it's gonna be an MMO wasteland. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um I know that Watch Dogs is also another pretty cool game. I think it's a crazy game seeing Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs looks like a game that is pretty insane in what technology could put us at someday as if we go too far. Also, Diablo 3 was announced that it's going to be on the PS3 and PS4. And then also Final Fantasy 15, I believe it is, is going to be coming on the uh PS4 as well and also Kingdom Hearts was released so that's going to be another game I mean there's a lot of things that really made Sony the better better product and um, so a few other things that I have to confirm is that your console doesn't need to be on 24-7 you don't have to register your online you don't have to check in 24 hours you don't have used game fees you can do anything you want and that's why PS4 is hit it on the button and that's why I think they're the console that is going to win this console war very quickly as they might have already put Xbox One out in the dust so thanks guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any 
topics that you would like me to talk about, anything you would like me to cover, I will definitely cover it. So thanks guys for tuning in to another video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one, which is probably going to be a Black Ops 2 commentary talking about which console I choose. So thanks guys, hope you enjoyed and uh, give me some feedback because I really am in need of it. So thanks guys, hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on the next video.